Howdy, howdy, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to a talk. So, it's been a while since we've done one of these. And uh, the audio, that, or the video, rather be, that you are seeing has been recorded beforehand. So all this talking is done just by me afterwards. And that's because this gives me a good format and a platform to stand on to talk to you guys. And that way you guys aren't, like, staring at a blank screen, but you're being visually stimulated now. Which allows you to be, you know, take stuff into your head. So, what you're currently seeing is... Hearthstone, and you're seeing the end of my sh shitty, shitty arena run. I it's pretty rough at arena. Arena's tough, dude. The streamers make it seem so easy, but I I've been trying. I gotten better. I I hit a seven. Oh no, I hit six. I was gonna hit seven, but then my internet dropped out. It's just great. Um, so I usually I I average about um I average about four or five. And this one, I just, I got the, the crap kicked out of me. I only made three. But anyways, um, so what I wanted to talk about was the channel. Because some of you have made, have noticed, uh, the channel is kind of going through a metamorphosis right now. And not a metamorphosis of what I'm producing, but actually what's happening currently with the subscribers. So, I, I usually like to not talk about subscribers and numbers and stuff like that because I don't want people thinking I'm getting caught up in the, you know, the number game and the, you know, it's, I want to be the biggest subscriber and it's, you know, it's, it's all about me and it's all about the money and stuff like that. But honestly, it's going through an interesting section right now. So I wanted to talk about that, uh, because it's interesting to me and I thought you guys might find it interesting yourself. So, a year ago, this time, um, I had just hit like 100 subscribers, and it was thanks to my Life is Feudal. And the the Life is Feudal walkthroughs, basically, I played Life is Feudal when it was first come out. I enjoyed it, but it was a tough-as-nails game because it was so realistic. And there was no, literally no tutorials on certain things. I had to search online and read, like, developer blogs on how to figure it out. And some things I had to just go and figure out. And so I, be I created the tutorials for it. And they became, I tried to just do something quick and something good that would help, you know, me, that if I was looking and I found that, I'd been like, that's good. And then I did other ones on things that I also needed to learn. So as I was progressing through my personal play of Life is Feudal, I just created tutorials along the way to help other people. And it worked really well and I had a lot of fun with Life is Feudal. Uh, but that caused a, a growth in my channel and those for a long time and still are some of my highest viewed videos. Uh, because people, you know, constantly go back and watch those tutorials. It caused a lot of people to subscribe to my channel because they were grateful for the tutorial videos, but they didn't want to watch my content, if that makes sense. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, that, and that's one of the reasons why I don't get caught up in subscribers and stuff like that, because subscribers are not always indicative of, uh, who, you know, who is getting more views and who's a more popular YouTuber, popular, um, in quote unquote, because, uh, I'm not going to use any names because I feel like that would be mean, but there are subscribers out there who have, or creators out there who have, you know, um, like 400,000 subscribers, like just a crazy huge amount of subscribers and they only get, uh, you know, they would only get... Uh, maybe 30,000 views per video, which is, is not super good. Um, no, that's, that's even, even that's okay. Like 10% is pretty good. Okay. There's people with 400,000 views who get like th 3,000 per video, which is not super good. That's pretty, that's pretty low. That's, you know, less than 1% of your subscribers are watching your content. Other, other times there's subscribers who, uh, you know, have, Two or 100,000 people, and every video gets around um, 25,000 views, and that's awesome engagement because that's you know 25%, and that's you know obviously the the guy who has 400,000 seems a lot bigger and a lot more successful. People that just see him, they're like, oh, he's a big YouTuber. And they got a 100,000, they're like, ah, you know, any other guy. But honestly, like the guy at the 100,000 is doing amazing. Um, and there's there's examples of this if you look around. I'm not going to name any names because I feel like it's mean to call people out like that. Um, but uh, like a good example of somebody who's doing very well is uh, Rob's channel. Rob's channel has a very high number of engagement for its basis of subscribers. But anyways, um, so anyways, the channel is going through this metamorphosis where our growth seems to be slowing down and it's not really slowing down because I'm still picking up subscribers it's the um the turnover rate of other subscribers um are slowing 
down, like speeding up a little bit. And that's that's sort of a, that sounds scary, um, but what it means is it's basically shedding. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying to sound as politically correct as possible, as nice as possible. We're shedding weight. I guess we're we're shedding subscribers who weren't interested in the content, which I'm not. I'm not digging on those guys at all. I'm not saying anything. Boo! I appreciate it. I, I their gesture of subscribing to me in the first place was awesome, um, and I really do appreciate it. And the number does mean something for people coming to the channel and seeing that, and then you know other other YouTubers taking me seriously or not when I ask them to uh, to work with me. But uh, it it doesn't mean a whole lot, and it just means that we're shedding subscribers who aren't as devoted, and uh, we're gaining subscribers who are more devoted so our community is uh is picking up more people and i see more devoted people all the time i see some of the the old people that are you know absolute staples who have been here with me for forever um i mean the biggest example is labet labet sits around and watches every single one of my videos um and not the minecraft ones so much he doesn't like the minecraft ones but uh he shows up and every time i don't do him i do a non-minecraft one he watches it um and i can see you know my fan reports who are new people and i see new people moving into that list which is awesome um and the thing is it's like not like older people who have been there are falling off it's uh this community is drawing stronger and uh you know so I'm very excited for this news that would seem like bad news, to be perfectly honest, um, because we've been bouncing around up at uh, up near 2000 for a while. Um, we're at 1800. We've been b bouncing around the upper 1800. I know the exact number off the top of my head right now. Um, I just I d don't want to date it too much. Um, I usually know the exact number of how many subscribers I have on the channel because every one of you guys is a person. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's an interesting thing that's going on on the channel right now. Um, but yeah, it, uh, one of the things I gotta remind myself to do every now and then is to go back and look at where I've come because I lose perspective sometimes and everybody does. Uh, it's, you hit hard times and you hit good times. So if you ever hit a hard time, always look at where you've come from. Um, if you look back at what you've came from and you see no improvement, or that you see uh, that you've gotten worse, then there's there's reason to to be worried. But I look back at what I you know what I've done in the past, and I I personally um, I think I've improved a lot. And I hear from friends that uh, you know they they love enjoy my content a lot more. Even Duke talks about that. You know when we first started. Um, when I first started, he used to turn in and he'd, he'd watch because, you know, he wanted to support me and I was a good friend. But uh, now he actually, he, he bothers me when I don't put out a video because uh, he enjoys watching the videos. Which is a huge compliment that my friends actually want to watch the videos, not because they're just supporting me to be nice friends, which was awesome back in the day when they did that. And honestly, I, I, I needed it a lot back then, especially because I needed feedback. But... Uh, it also, it's nice to know that I am improving in their eyes, as well as mine. And then if I look at my analytics, my retention times increased, my uh, my views, my minutes watched, all of those have gone up. And even though they're lower right now than they had been during the summer, that uh, I'm still pretty pumped about that. And that's another thing I want to talk about, is there's different, I don't know if you guys know this, because I didn't know this until I, I talked to other YouTubers, there's actually seasons for YouTube. YouTube uh, has sections where it will do well, and sections where it won't do well so for instance coming up uh november into december is going to be a, a peaker a peaker time a peaking time um where i uh i i should get more views and also the views that i get will be more expensive um and the reason for that is that for twofold we're going to the holiday season so people have more free time so they watch more youtube and they the views get more expensive by advertising companies. They uh, they pay more. They put more money into advertising in that section. And the same is for January. January is like one of the lowest months for advertising. Um, so it's a feast and then into famine, which is interesting. And I'm not saying that because you know I'm interested in money and I'm not like hey yeah yeah oh good guy mice go make the big bucks over Christmas. I'm telling that because I believe in full clarity and I want to share this information I'm trying to I always whenever I tell you guys something it's always a balance of saying something and not upsetting people because you guys are amazing and you guys are super engaged and you're super reactive and you guys are awesome but 
we never want somebody who's new to the channel to come by and misunderstand one of my jokes. So I wanted to thank you as well, guys, because I've literally never, 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 never gotten browbeaten about anything. Um, I d uh, only once did I ever have um, a uh, a serial downvoter, and um, that was that was because. Um, he just, he, I, <laughs> I wouldn't let them be in a video, and they got, they got mad. Um, so, uh, but, yeah, you guys have been nothing but amazing. We've, we've literally never had a shitstorm on the channel, which blows my mind that I've been doing this for, uh, is it two years now? No, we've a year and a half, so yeah, we're coming up towards two years, um, and that's just, it's awesome. I really do appreciate it, guys. So, if you have any questions about the channel or anything that's going on, go ahead, let, uh, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer it. I just, this video is not, like, super funny or anything like that. I just uh, wanted to talk about certain things that are going on on the channel that I personally found interesting. Because if I don't end up, you know, doing YouTube, I'm getting an MIS degree. And so, that's Managing Information Systems, which basically you manage database and data. And so data interests me. Um, the analytics for YouTube are exactly what I'd be dealing with. Stuff like that. Google Analytics. I actually have classes in college that focus on them, which is so cool that I can turn around and directly apply it to what I'm doing on YouTube. Anyways, though, that's enough of a ramble for me. Uh, you guys have probably, oh, hopefully, seen me uh, win one. And uh, maybe lose one. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. You guys, keeping good, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye. -bye.